have one of the greatest lifters of all time, Ray Williams, 120 plus national champion, and his two coaches with him. So um, to start off with, Ray, if you want to just make sort of an opening statement and summarizing your day, and then if you all want to talk about how good Ray did today um, and brag on him a little bit, that would be a good opening statement. Go ahead. Uh, if I could just sum it up into one word, and I know everybody's going to disagree with me. Everybody's going to um, – not agree well everybody's going to disagree with me but the word of the day um words disappointment and underachievement um just i didn't do what i physically know i can do and granted i'm, I'm limited um my knee has not been healthy for a while uh me and my wife we we moved the third way across the country like two weeks ago. Uh, so my life has been kind of all over the place. We finally got a grasp on things like maybe a couple of days ago, you know, where I got to where I was eating enough calories and getting enough sleep. But uh, definitely, if I had to sum it up myself, um, I'm definitely disappointed. Um, I I didn't do what I came here to do. You know, um, you know. I'm going to follow that up with, I'm extremely proud. And I told him the exact same thing with what he was going through. The only lift that he missed that we thought he could get today was the deadlift. And I wasn't even sure he should go out for it. He was in a lot of pain, but he's not a quitter. He wanted to go out and see if God would reach down and pick up the weight with him. And, um... I am so proud of you. I think it's. I think you wanted to do this meet for you, and you need to ask yourself the question: Did you give it everything you had today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And if you were talking to me, and I had done exactly what you'd done, would you be proud of me or disappointed? I'll be proud of you. There you go. <laughs> 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 I'm so proud. Um, on my end, one thing we uh. We've noticed over the last couple of weeks is uh, his life, as you mentioned, had uh, kind of taken a quick turn and actually for the better for his entire family and for his entire future, his career as well. But that didn't slow him down. He tried every chance he got to still get his training in. Um, and then today was all about trying to keep him on pace, everything, our entire staff. Uh, that we got to work together in the warm-up room, we were able to keep him on pace the entire time and keep his head in the game. And at the end of the day, we're all extremely proud. That's the reality. Um, there's a reason why you have this on your chest right now and you, you did the thing, but there's still more work to be done. And <laughs> one thing you'll know about Ray Williams, he will always be happy about his performance, but he will never, ever be satisfied. He always wants more. He always wants more. Um, that's the reason why a lot of us, we do this sport and we're in this sport because we're never, we're never truly happy with that one little result. We always want a little bit more. So I'm sure everybody can feel that. Um, but we're all extremely proud. And here's the thing. When you step onto the platform, you bring back the sport of powerlifting. You bring back an energy that nobody in the world has ever been able to do. You do something for this community and this sport. So understand that even though you are lifting for yourself and for your family, you give a lot of people a lot of hope and a lot of motivation to go after and enjoy and enjoy this process. Enjoy. So understand just you stepping onto this platform, you did a lot more for a lot of people than you realize. So we're all extremely and proud of you. And head up. Head up. You should be proud. See, that's why you can't, you can't wallow with these. You can't wallow with these folks. Like, yeah, like you know, You but, can be disappointed, but... I mean, you gotta be proud too. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like me and Coach Gary. We 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 have we that have this Coach thing. Coach Gary, not this Coach Gary. The awesome, the the, the highly Coach esteemed. Gary, yes. Been there from day one, <laughs> Coach Gary. Uh, we have a saying um, that uh, whenever we have bad days and we hit crazy numbers, like if we hit a big squat or a deadlift or something, and I sum it up and I'm like, man, it was a terrible day. You know, we always come back. We're like, if you could do that on a bad day, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to what happens when you have a good day. Mm -hmm. And um, 
me and him, we actually, we had like a 45 minute phone call Monday um, where we were on the fence about even competing today. Like, should we pull out? I mean, what's there to gain? Um, you're not going to be nowhere near what you can do. But uh, like I told him, um, I wanted to do this meet for me. Um, Cause you know, 36 years old. I'm not getting any younger. I got more yesterdays than I do tomorrow. So my goal is just to have fun with this, um, and, and make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it, please. Today was a blip in the time I got left. Make no mistake about that. Like we're gonna bounce back. We're going to, we're going to get to where we're, we're gonna we're gonna get back to where we. That, that goal we set, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. If you know me, you know what goal I'm talking about. We will reach that goal. It may take a little bit more time than we anticipated, but we're going to reach that goal. And you got my word on that. We're going to reach that goal, but it just may take a little bit more time. We may have to take a few more detours than anticipated, but as long as I got my team around me, people who are always going to – be honest with me, because you know the, the the hard thing about this sport is when you're when you're good at it, you accumulate a lot of yes men around you, a lot of people yep. that are quick to, oh man, no, I need people that are gonna be honest with me. Like I don't need yes people around me. I need people that are gonna be honest because that lets me know they love me. They can be objective. They can sit me down, hey bro, I need I need you to give me your ears, because it's a reason God gave you two ears and one mouth. You know, listen more than you speak. So. Um, I appreciate them. Um, fell short today, but, you know, I'm going to go back to my hotel when I'm not around them so I can feel sorry for myself. <laughs> but once we, once tomorrow hits, then it's another day. We, me and Coach Gary are probably going to sit on the phone for a little bit, figure out the game plan, figure out what's next, and we're going to get back to it. That's all it is to do, you know. Um, it's kind of like Coach Prime said, and – I love Dion because he come up with a lot of clever stuff. But he, recently, he spoke some truth, and I've been saying this since he said it: "We coming. I'm bringing my bags with me, and they Louis. <laughs> we coming, baby." <laughs> so um, today was fun, just just the spirit, the energy in the room, and yeah. <sighs> Squatted nine some with one leg. So, hey, when I got two good legs, hey, we coming. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, we, we can see that you're in pain, right? You're walking around. You're favoring one leg. It just it looks uncomfortable. How – tell us, like, how does Ray Williams get under 960 in pain? Like, how, how, do, you, how do you get there? My family. Like – if you ever see me doing this, no, I'm blind, by the way. Like, I'm, I'm one of the blindest people in the world. So, typically, when I'm looking at my phone, I'm like this. So, uh, when you see me like this, I'm typically looking at my family. Like, they're worth it. Everything I go through, all the pain, all the all the ouchies, they're worth it. Like, I do this for them. You know, I've done enough for me. Like, if I hung it up today, I've done enough in my powerlifting career where I could be satisfied. But... I feel that, you know, I got a lot left in me, and I do it for my family. They're my motivation. They're the reason I get up. They're the reason I push. Um, and, you know, sometimes you, you when you get to a certain point in your life, you have to have something that's bigger than you to motivate you, and my family is way bigger than me. To say that I'm proud of you is an understatement. Um, <clears throat> I think the powerlifting world understands that you don't need any more feathers in your cap to determine your legacy. Seven national titles now, five IPF Open World Championships, uh, the heaviest raw squat drug tested in history. Um, are there any more boxes that you feel you need to or want to check 
in order to quote unquote complete your career? Yes. There, there's only one. Okay. There's only one. Um, and everybody knows what that is. I don't have to say it. Um, that's it. I do that. I can ride off into the sunset, and we we can. Uh, you know, I'm not saying I, I never. I I don't like to use jargon like pass the torch or nothing like that because I don't see myself as that guy. Like everybody else, you know, you know how people always uh the, the self proclaim this, that, and the third. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't buy into all that. Like I, I heard somebody say some uh, goat. Like I, I just like I don't buy into all that. I don't, I don't need that. It's, it's just when you love something, when you put as much time, energy into something as we do this, like I just wanna, I just wanna go out on my terms. Um, you know, when you're, when you're able to go out on your own terms, it's, it's a different, it's a different, it's a different gratification. It, it, it's a different feeling. And I want to go out on my own terms. When I, when I get that number, I'll be happy. Like, um, to quote, uh, not too long ago, I did a meet, and uh, I, I sat and uh, I sat with uh, Kirk Kowalski. Oh boy! And <laughs> and I asked him, like, why did you stop powerlifting when you had so much more in you? And he said, and I quote, "I wasn't angry anymore. I didn't have I didn't have that anger. I didn't have that fuel. And once I hit that number." I know that's going to be my deal. And I know I'm not going to be the same guy. But until I hit that number, I'm going to be that guy. I am him. And I'm going to push until I get it. And I will get it. I just, like I said before, it's going to take some time. Um, we've had to take a couple of detours. But everybody's journey is different. And I'm going to embrace mine each and every day as long as I got these people in my corner. Um, and God on my side, nothing can stop me. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Yeah, I, I, I do have a, I have a question for you, man. It's, it's, uh, it's a little lifted more, uh, more in terms of impact, uh, kind of like everyone's been saying in the room. Um, you can have the meat you want, that's fine. It happens to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. But the one thing I'm, I'm hoping that you saw, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you did, uh, was just the impact you had on people. It's about walking in the room, um, shaking the hands and taking the pictures, the hugs, the high fives, the daps. Um, let's talk about that for a little bit. Um, let's talk about that first time you walk in the room and, and just, you know, what that feels like. Obviously, you know, uh, being back at Matt's um, and, and just being able to, you know, strap up again, you know, Warm up again, be in the back. You've got Mike and Sheriff back there with you. Um, you know, a living legend and another living legend just warming up and all that stuff. I mean, having, you know, legendary coaches helping you out, all the good stuff and people walking around. Hey, man, how you doing, man? Let's talk about that for a little bit. Like, what did that feel like just being back, just being back amongst everybody? It felt great, man, because when you have as many setbacks as – and that's why I say uh, put this out there first. Coach Gary, Coach Gary, my man David, my partner, my business partner. If I didn't have a strong team around me, I would have probably lost it mentally. Like, to get injured, to catch COVID, to – let's go back to Chicago. To, to win nationals, to be on the world team, to have that opportunity taken from you because of COVID. You know, the world, we had a pandemic. So, all right, no worlds. Next year, you catch COVID. Next year, you hurt your groin or your hip flexor. And you just, like you're talking about three years. Or you're just training and you're having these constant setbacks. So eventually, you find like, man, I for a little while, I was in a dark spot. 
just like, do I still got it? Do I still want it? And then, you know, like my career wasn't my, my actual job. It was going downhill. And, you know, just sitting back like just got in a real dark place. So to walk in that room today and just to see the young, for the the youth, the young faces, the energy that this sport has now. Like how you talk about me and Mike. Me and Mike talking about the young cats. Like, man, you seen these young man, these young cats serious. Like, man, like like you you turn on, you get on IG and uh man, this young cat over here dead lived in seven eighty five. Like God. So you know, like it's like these young cats ain't man. So, you know, that's that was, you know, because their youth, you know, like energizes me. Like, cause, you know, like man, I'm thirty six. Like my friend Adam Gore once told me. The day you turn 30, you're going to wake up and stuff going to hurt on you you ain't even know you had. Like, I'm talking about if I, if I stub my toe, I'm limping for two weeks now. Like, wait till you hit 40. Uh, wait till you hit 50. I did not know this man was 44 years old. Bro, you a lie. You're not 44, you bro. About? You're not 44, bro. Oh, you Stop it. I'll trade you my, my license for your medal. Huh? Okay. <laughs> but, man, just to be around these, these, these younger lifters and to see – I see my I see myself in them right. back in 2012 when when I cursed on the platform and they should have thrown me out of the room like they should have just been like bro this me over with like go home bro you ain't got no you ain't got no training you country and you know for them to let me finish the meet and you know like I let my youth and my inexperience take over at certain points during that meet but. I see me in these young cats, and man, it's 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 awesome. Like this sport is heading in a great direction, and just to be around them, just to be around the energy, the excitement. Like you got people who didn't podium, and their smile was just as big as if they won a national championship. Man, but I finished the meet, man. Like you know, like that's the type of energy you need. That's the type of energy this sport needs to. Well, maybe one day get in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's I. I I think that's still the goal, so right. that's what you need. And it was just great to be around that again today. And so you do understand you're a big part of that energy that's in the room. You realize that people see Ray Williams on the marquee, they see his name, like, you know what, I get to live for the Rob Nassau, the Ray Williams. I get to live for the Michael Scherer. I get to live for the Bryce Lewis. Dr. Ray Williams. Dr. Ray Williams. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, <laughs> again, just kind of echoing what everyone, you know, everyone in the room, like, again, like, say, We'll disagree with you, and, and I, I feel like I agree with everyone. Uh, we all disagree with you feeling that you had a bad performance. Like, your performance, what you do on the platform, trans, like it transcends just lifting weights, my dude. And what you're able to do in terms of being an ambassador for the sport, the people that you're able to bring into the sport, the eyes you're able to bring onto the sport, that, that's bigger than any number you ever squat, anything you ever pull, anything you ever bench. So, I mean, so... <clears throat> Speaking on behalf of pretty much everyone powerlifting right now, thank you. Appreciate you. And I thank these people. Absolutely. I thank these people. <laughs> we love you. Without these love people, you, wouldn't be up here. I wouldn't be able to go home and say, hey, at least I came back with this. <laughs> you know, but, you know, without them, I wouldn't be here. So I'm going to give all the credit to the people that support me, that held me up, because, you know, it would have been easy for me to say, man, I got X national championships. I got X world championship. Man, I'm just going to skip this and, you know, just wait till I'm healthy. Right. But like I said, I wanted to do this for me, and I'm just blessed that I had some people around me that held me up when I couldn't stand up myself. So appreciate you guys. Team Love effort. you guys. Team, Team effort, man. No doubt. Always. All right, well, let's let Ray go. Um, we can talk to him all day. But um, thank you so much for on your latest national championship. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, congratulations.